Coalition of Igbo Groups in Lagos is calling on the Independent National Electoral Commission to extend the pre-registration period in the interest of democracy. They stated this while briefing journalists in Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kano reports. Rising from a meeting involving all the Igbo social cultural groups in the state, the representatives are here to state the resolutions reached at the meeting it held earlier in the week. Secretary General of Ohanese spoke on the voter pre-registration by INEC. The 2023 election are due in 11th month. That is almost a year from today. This press conference is thus a formal statement by leaders of the Igbo citizens of Nigeria for themselves and for other Nigerians. That this exercise be continued till the last till at least 30th September 2022, which will be still five months before the elections. President of Igbo Women Assembly made a case for women ahead of the 2023 general election. 50% of the women are traders. I mean, when I mean traders, I mean street traders. Some of them doesn't have phone that has iPhones and apps that will help them register the way I need wants us to register. So we are begging INEC, groups like us has reason to find a way. We made our survey and discovered that most of these women are not registered. Most of our children are not registered. Most of the traders who doesn't even know how to register, even though they have phones that has app, they don't know how to use it and register. Since those that attended the meeting included Akai Kenga, Ndibo, Nzuko Omona, Utuoka Iwu, Market Unions, and Association of Southeast Town Unions. It would be out of place for them not to speak on the insecurity in their homeland. Some people believe that it's the same terrorists which the DSS and the government said that these are Sahelian terrorists in the Northeast. And since COVID-19, that many of them have, because they've been dislodged in the Northeast, have moved south. It's not just a crime is committed and immediately says IPOB. Every street has a checkpoint of army or DSS or police in the southeast. But people are dying. Our children are dying. And these ones that they are going to burn trailer of northerners, this one they are killing this, it's suggesting as if somebody is trying to incite an ethnic fight. They called on the government to thoroughly investigate the killings and bring all to justice. Ivy Kano, TVC News, Lagos.